Another big story for us today here in the Midlands. A plane crash this morning in the Rosewood community has investigators still searching for answers. The plane hit a home near South Maple and Kennedy Streets about a mile from the Hamilton Owens Airport. Yeah, this has been a big mess today. News 19's Nick Jones has been on the scene all day long since early this morning and joins us now live with the latest on the investigation. Nick, what can you tell us so far? Well, Andrea, this is the area where a small plane crashed here in the Rosewood community right now. The block where this happened is taped off, and so there's no traffic flowing through this particular area. But around 1030 this morning, uh, this morning, officials got the call. A plane crashed at the corner of South Maple and Kennedy Street. For those unfamiliar with this area, it's about a mile out from Hamilton Owens Airport as well as williams Bryce Stadium. Now, once fire crews arrived, they discovered one home and the plane on fire. One person was in the home at the time of the crash, but were, they were able to get out of the home with their pets without any injuries as a result of the crash. According to officials, at least one person was on the plane, but the status of the person's condition has not been released yet. There's been no indication of what caused the crash at this time either. The NTSB tells me they're investigating the incident and there won't be a pre preliminary report until at least two weeks. A concern with people in the area has been about fuel from the plane and the possibility of another fire coming from it. Columbia Fire Chief Aubrey Jenkins says they're on top of things and making sure it won't be a problem. As far as the, the fuel on the plane, uh, all that burned up because the plane was on fire when it hit the ground. Okay. So, so all, the, all it, as far as we know, all the fuel is burned up in the plane. We're secure now. Um, obviously, when we first arrived, uh, we wanted to make sure we didn't have any other damage other than the involved uh, involved house. Uh, I, I think, um, considering the circumstances, very very lucky that we didn't have um, you know further injury. The Columbia Police Department says that people in this neighborhood can help with this investigation if they have any video from I-Ring or doorbell or any surveillance video to help them with this investigation. They would appreciate it if you send it their way. In Columbia, Nick Jones, News 19 WLTX.